Hello, Tzoraim Tovim. I want to say a few words now to Blue Strings, and I've kept my other commentator that writes a lot, and uh, and hopefully Rabbi Ben Sion uh, Halberstam. Now, I saw a short clip. I see I'm going to make this very short, so you don't have to close it off right away. I'm pretty sure the other one's 19 minutes and 15 minutes. You know, the people lose patience, but you have to have patience. You want to learn something. Now, Rabbi... Ben Sion Halberstam says, Bamish like throwing his hands up in the air. I saw it. What are they arguing? We have five, six Achronim, I think. Who is it? And she was Mishpat, and we have uh, the Yai Bates, maybe, and uh, Rav Shimshim Raphael Hirsch. They all hold the Murex is the, the fish of Techelis. So, what are you, how can you even start? Be'er, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, this is the words of Rabbi Halberstam. Now, first of all, this, I said this before, but I'm going to make this very short now. Lama halacha kamo beis hilil, because they were makdim, the words of their opponents first. Now, now, one second. Now, if you're talking on Techelis, I, I assume that you've read what the Achronim say, the today's Gedolei Ador. Rav Asher Weiss is Miki Ches, your question, that these people held as Techelis. That's a simon that maybe the Lach is like, oh, he's Miki Ches to all these people. And then he says this, Shita. He asks Rav Asher Weiss, where do they know it from? How do you know it? What's this for? Hey, look, we're not we're like a certain great rabbi. I mean, great rabbi, not facetiously. The the Kali is a tremendous bucky in Achronim, and he brings eight. We showed him like eight Achronim like this, and four Kazer. The halach is like the eight. Uh, is a very great person. He does it. We don't go that way. You have to go into each way. First of all, you can't do it because they didn't sit around the same table together. But Zello and Yanakshov. Now, what did they say? Explain. Explain the Yabates. Uh, explain, uh, Rav Shemshu Raphael Hurst. Say the words. Teach us something. The Agahom, and not just for the list. That, uh, that's the way it is. Uh, the Kalkite, which uh, Rabbi Halbashom said it was mamish. Uh, try and go with a little bit more Kavedu. That's one. Now, number two, they come up every 70 years. Now, this is Rabbi Belsky, uh, Zal, that he, he says, they come up, storms happen, they come up, and then there's, I think, a picture there, somebody standing with a bunch of seashells. For, maybe they were they already cracked open seashells that they took out the murex from, they took out the dye from. And uh, <laughs> so how do we know? Now, if, I, if, I, if these people, the murex people, had a hazaka of honesty, I wouldn't say it, but I brought in maybe the first two clips I put up. This is clip number four. I brought in many lies, obvious lies or stupidity that different people said. You can hear them again. They're still there with all the nasty comments against me and all the nasty names. It's still there. Uh, so I don't know. I don't, you have to let's look at the shells and let's talk about them. And uh, and once every million years, Rav, Rav, uh, Doctor Borchstrom says they never come up. Rav Tavger Shiabari, a great person, says they come up when we it means when we bring them up. So they don't always they bring the other opinions. He waves his hand. Well, ain't been problem. A little bit of kavetus, okay. Uh, be well, Kulam.